Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today I want to talk to you about a dream come true for me personally. Phasmophobia has been revealed to be coming to PSVR 2. It's also coming to PS5 flat and Xbox Series X. So it's a hybrid game and it has crossplay and it's gonna have, you know, you can play with the flat people, you know, so it doesn't have to be VR people only. If you have friends who don't have VR, who are not into VR, you can still play with them even though you're in VR. So very similar to No Man's Sky. And if you don't know what Phasmophobia is, it is one of the best horror games, best indie horror games to come out on PC in the last few years. You can play it single player or you can play with up to three friends for four player co-op online, which is really, really cool. And the cool thing about it is, you know, a lot of people have tried to do multiplayer horror games and you just it's just not scary. Whereas with this one, it somehow still manages to be scary even though you're messing around with some friends. Basically, you're ghost hunters or something along those lines and it's your job to go to a haunted location. There's gonna be 10 locations at launch and you have to identify whatever kind of ghost is haunting the place. So that's it, so all you have to do is figure out what kind of ghost it is but there are 24 different types of ghosts. So you have to figure out based on the clues that are happening while you're at the location, which type of ghost it is. Are they leaving fingerprints? Do they have, can you see orbs floating by on cameras? Do temperatures drop in certain rooms? All these different things, you can line them up with different types of spirits. And then that's how you figure out which one it is. There is a ton of ghost hunting equipment, EMF readers, you know, uh, smudge sticks, crucifixes, all kinds of stuff that you'll be using, cameras. They form a large part of the progression, so as you're leveling up, as you're getting a bit of cash for doing these little bits of jobs, you use the cash to buy more equipment so you can identify more ghosts, and then it goes on and on and on until you've got a whole van filled with all kinds of gear so that you can tackle any situation, basically. Of course, the ghosts themselves pose a risk to you. You've got like a sanity meter, so as that decreases, ghosts are more likely to attack you. I say ghosts, but of course, it can be any of the 24 different types, so we're talking, you know, banshees, it could be a demon, it could be a phantom, a wraith. There's like tons of different types of things. And then they've got personalities for different ghost types. So even though it's the same ghost type, you might be dealing with a shy one or an aggressive one. So basically all these different factors add in a ton of replayability and the fact that it's co-op as well means that every time you play, it's gonna be kind of like a different experience, a different ghost hunt. So this is excellent. I wanted this on PSVR 1 for so, so long. I'm so happy that they confirmed it for PSVR 2. Come in August, they didn't give a specific date, but I don't really mind too much. I wasn't, expect I wasn't even expecting it to come this year. They did say it would come eventually when the game is done. However, it seems they're gonna be launching the early access version, so they're not really waiting until it's completed fully. Still, where it's at now is in a good place. You know, they've got a lot of content in there right now, and they're only gonna keep adding more and more. And of course the special events, you know, themed events for seasonal stuff and whatnot. Now it is a small team. It does look a bit janky, you know, it's not 4K visuals, you know, the character models kind of do some weird goofy stuff. But it is still pretty terrifying. I cannot wait for Phasmophobia coming this August. And that's all I wanted to say really. I wanna, I'm gonna be covering Phasmophobia. So there's gonna be Firewall Ultra, there's gonna be Pavlov, there's gonna be Mini Golf. So much, there's so much options now on PSVR 2 that we didn't have on PSVR 1, it's crazy. Back on PSVR 1 we had what, Firewall Ultra? No, sorry, Firewall Zero Hour. Maybe some werewolves within now and again, you know, the rec room kind of, before it got completely overrun by the children. And we're just a few months into the life of PSVR 2 and already we've got, we've got like so much better options and excellent options yet to come. The big hazers have not even come out yet and we've already got so many options. So PSVR 2, first year looking healthy. Uh, who knows what's coming next year, but that's a topic for another video. And with that, I will end this video. Before I do, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, lads and ladies. Please stay exceptionally moist.